Are you Dr. Bronfman? Yes. Is that a little boy? Well, no, Puff. This is a dwarf. I guess they prefer to be called little people, isn't that correct, my good man? In actuality, I'd prefer to be called Dr. Edelstein. Ah, yes. Um, well, Dr. Edelstein is a fully grown adult pup, believe it or not, who, due to a genetic anomaly... A chondroplasia? Who, due to a chondroplasia, is actually a miniature human being. Interesting. Now, Dr. Edelstein, what is it we can do? Well, for starters, you can find your way into that ludicrous lucite case. Not you. Not you. Look, what is this about? We have no money on the premises. Please, if you're from some little person, or rather, a chondroplasic terrorist group, I want you to know I fully support your call. I'm beginning to tire of you, Dr. Bronfman. Surprise, dear heart. This is Lila. Yes, yeah, this is Lila. Cunt. American and proud of it. The hair's gone, Nathan. All taken care of. And I have muscles now. And I get looks every day in the street. You're beautiful. You want to touch me, Nathan, or what? Yes. Poor baby. Thank you, Frank. You're the best. Anything and everything for you, my dear? You see, Frank and I both know what it is to be shunned because of our appearance. The attempt to force human beings to despise themselves is what I call hell. Andre Malraux. Amen. Sorry. Hawkins has been shut this place. Oh, th th there's an overflow lot across the street. Yeah, I find it. Just over on Tilton, you can't miss it. Right next to the VA hospital. And, and we'd be happy to validate your stuff. Time up. With pleasure. All right, Fifi, give me the hands. Come on. Du temps que la nature en saveur puissante. Considérer chaque jour des enfants monstrueux. Je sens mes vivre auprès d'une méchante géante. Mon pied de rien, mon chapeau de lecture. 